In this video, we will calibrate a Mini-Ray 2000 photoionization detector. Photoionization is the process by which an ultraviolet lamp ionizes volatile organic compounds. The ionized gas then passes over a sensor which detects the charge and then converts that signal into a current. The current is then amplified and displayed on the unit as a reading in parts per million. The Mini-Ray 2000 detects VOCs at a range of 0 to 10,000 parts per million. It features real-time readings and data logging capability. For calibration, we will need the following supplies. A canister of isobutylene at a concentration of 100 ppm, a regulator, and a Tedlar bag. Also, please remember to always use an external filter whenever using a PID. To begin, the unit is turned on by pressing and holding the Mode button. The unit will cycle through its warm-up process for about a minute. We will fast forward through this for the purposes of this video. Once the unit displays a reading, it is ready. To begin calibration, press and hold the Mode and End buttons together until the screen changes. The unit will now display the first setup menu for calibration. Press the Y button to access this menu. The next menu item asks if you'd like to start the Fresh Air Cal. Please take a moment to make sure that you are in a clean, fresh air environment. Press Y to begin the Fresh Air Calibration. The unit will now take readings and update its calibration memory. This will take approximately one minute. This is a good opportunity to make sure that your Tedlar bag is filled with 100 ppm isobutylene and ready for the next step. Once the fresh air calibration is complete, open the valve on your Tedlar bag and make a secure connection to the probe tip of the unit. The display will read Span Cal. Press the Y button to start the span calibration. The unit will take readings for 30 seconds and then update its calibration memory. We will again fast forward through this. Once the span calibration is complete, the display instructs you to turn off the gas. We recommend that you keep the bag connected for a functional bump test. The bump test will ensure that the calibration was successful. With the Tedlar bag still connected, press the Y button once, and then press the Y button again to go to the main display. You should notice that the unit is reading at a concentration of 100 ppm, or at least within 5% of 100 ppm. After a moment, disconnect the Tedlar bag and make sure the readings drop to an acceptable reading close to zero. This completes the calibration of the Mini-Ray 2000. Remember, if you have any questions regarding this or any other project, a knowledgeable and experienced U.S. environmental associate is ready to assist you.